it's time to give my Shoheen Berberis that I've developed from nursery stock its first prune of the season. I've been developing this small Shoheen Barberi or Berberis from garden centre material or nursery stock and I put it into this Erin bonsai pot for the first time earlier this year. If you want to check out the video. All right, let's dive in and do some pruning. Okay, because of the relatively large leaves and small scale of this shoheen, what I'm gonna do is cut back fairly roughly and where I can see what's going on, I'm going to cut back to two buds, particularly in branches that are coming from the apical region, which as you can see, are getting quite strong and are running away towards the sky. So let's get those cut back quite hard. Hi everybody, I'm Darren, and if you're new to my channel, my videos are all about sharing my journey in the bonsai world. Along the way, I'll be sharing progression updates, as well as lessons learned during my bonsai work. So if that sounds like something you could be into, please consider subscribing. Some of the lower pieces coming from branches lower down on the trunk, I'll actually leave to grow a little more and gain some strength. This piece here is actually coming from lower down on the trunk and it's really skyrocketed. As you can see, it's clearly the uh, champion branch this year. And if I come in close, you'll see that the, uh, the second internode is actually really long. So I'm gonna come in and prune this one right back to the first leaf. There we go, look at that. It's quite a long, uh, it's quite a long first internode on that. This piece is quite long, but I might be able to make a branch out of this one to fill in a bit of a gap over the center of the tree. So I won't cut that one back to two, I'll leave that one a bit longer like so. Just here we've got a coarse internode again. I'm gonna cut this one back to one. This piece here is coming from a weaker lower branch. I'm actually gonna leave this one intact for this session. That can build up a bit of strength. Okay, this one can come back to two leaves in there. Cut this one back to one because it's got that long first internode. There we go. This piece is right out by the preferred silhouette. And the second internode is really long. I don't need that length, so I'm gonna cut this one back to that first node. Same here. And the same there. This piece is coming from a crutch with a nice structural piece, but I can't tell at the moment if I'd rather keep it or not. So I'll just prune it right back to a couple of, a couple of leaves. I've got this nice small piece there. I'll leave that one alone. This branch here is, has got some potential to be usable. This one, however, is coming from a terrible location on the inside of a bend and from a crutch. So I'm going to cut that one right off. I cut this piece back to two. And this piece back to two as well. This one's got two nice pieces close to one another here. So let's keep those two. Two buds on that one. And although this one's fairly coarse, I'll keep two on this one because I can't tell where it's coming from or whether I'll need it. And I'll cut this one back here, which is two buds. This weak branch, oh hello, there's a spider on there. Be careful not to hurt that spider, there he goes. This weak branch is coming underneath and from a crotch. I don't need it, so let's pop that one off. Put the spider back on the tree. That just leaves these pieces now. I haven't got a clue what I want or what I don't want in terms of these. So I'm just going to come in, I'm going to prune back to a couple of leaves on each of them and we'll see, uh, we'll see how they develop and how things feel when I can get a bit more visibility going. There we go. I've got no idea if I need this one or not, so I'm just going to leave it there until the time that I can decide. Take care and thanks for watching.
Put the spider back on the tree. <laughs> Cold. Still good though.